Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Bethany. I'm an oil painter based in San Francisco, California. Today, I would like to give you a few facts about the political activist Angela Davis, who I've painted a portrait of, and I hope you really enjoy. Angela Davis was born January 26, 1944, to her parents, Sally and Frank Davis. She is one of four children. Her father, Frank, was a teacher and her mother was uh, also an activist and was heavily involved in the NAACP. What really inspired Angela Davis to become a part of the activism movement was um, her experience as a child. She was a part of a family who was going from lower uh, middle class to upper middle class. So she was living in a predominantly black area as a child when she was moved to a predominantly white suburb of, of Alabama. This suburb she moved in was predominantly white. They were very angry about blacks moving into the neighborhood and it was reported that a lot of the homes that the black people were living in were being bombed and this affected her deeply. Being a part of the Girl Scouts kind of started her political career. She protested in Birmingham and also in 1950 in the nationwide raid of the Girl Scouts. So in 1962 she was getting ready to graduate from the university and a turning point happened. The bombing of the 16th Street Baptist Church had just occurred and she had known some of the little girls who were um, killed in this bombing. So she couldn't get as deeply involved into politics as she wanted to at this moment because she was of course still in school and then she went on to get her master's degree and also her doctorate degree at the Humboldt University of Berlin. But after 1969, when she received her doctorate degree, she came back to America and was able to join the black politics movement. After this, she moved back to America and decided to fully immerse herself in black politics. And she even helped start organizations like Sister Inside. And she joined the black Panther Party, which she is most known for being a part of, even though she was only a part of it for a short time and um, had her issues with the party. So also in 1969, I believe, she was hired to be an assistant professor at the California University of Los Angeles. At her first teaching engagement, over a thousand people showed up. It was a really big deal and people were really excited to see and to hear her speak. But trouble came along because she was a part of the black branch of a communist party. So a lot of people had a problem with her connections with the communist party, including Ronald Reagan. This ultimately concluded with her being dismissed from her position. Even though later on she was reinstated, she was fired again in 1970. So Angela, after being dismissed from her previous position as a professor, she then went into law. She worked on one criminal case called the Soledad case. This is where four prisoners were being accused of stabbing a prison guard to death. In the process of doing this, there was a brother of one of the defendants who were um, trying to negotiate and get their brother out of prison for committing this crime or being accused of committing this crime. In the process of doing this, he kidnapped a judge. While kidnapping a judge and trying to negotiate, the judge was eventually shot and killed. Now where this became a huge issue for Angela was that the gun registered and that shot and killed the judge was registered to her. 
She then was put on the FBI's most wanted list and we have this infamous picture of her standing for her mugshot where she is on the most wanted list. Luckily for Angela, she was later acquitted for this crime. After being exonerated in 1968, she joined a communist party and went on to run for vice presidency. Sadly, she did not win, but she went on to be a professor at schools like San Francisco State University in, from 1980 to 1984, and also the University of Santa Cruz. She still works for women's rights today and for racial justice. So I hope you enjoyed hearing about Angela Davis. If you love the painting as much as I do, please look at the link below and also support the channel in any way you can. Bye!